Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will talk about and we will make a review of Ball Automatic Filter Type 6.64. As I have made such video and also we have a video here on this channel with animation, I like also to speak a little bit about uh, the importance of oil in ME engines, electronic control engines. So these kind of filters mostly installed in these engines and also the location of this filter it's close to hydraulic control units. So the importance of pure oil it's really really uh, necessary in such systems where we need to obtain high pressure and also as my previous experience uh, in the Framos seminar which I have attended many many years ago but I still remember some uh, tips from there from the guys that coming from Norway they told us that the most important thing is the quality of oil so how to obtain the best quality of oil is by introduce such filters with really really small holes if I remember properly there is some microns and also with the proper purification of the oil. Here we can see all the system itself as it uh, combined all together in this casing. So there is a solid casing and also there is some installation on them. There is a filter chambers, there is a electrical motor on the top which will activate it by the control power panel at the appropriate moment and also depends sometimes from the differential pressure between the clean chamber and the dirty chamber. There is a differential pressure set point which will give the activation and then the cleaning process will start. The most important thing is that the cleaning effect will not interrupt the flow of the oil or the fuel whatever media you are using there and that is which most of uh, most of the approves have been taken through the time from the classification societies and all that must be met all that key factors and also another key factor is to reduce the sludge production which is also a very very big concern by reducing the sludge production we reduce also the entries through our logbooks and also we reduce also the uh, the fact of mistake in some entries also it's better to manage the sludges that produce from this kind of operation and there is a image here which we can uh, take a look a close look so in this phase here we have a media entering from the point one here and let's take my pencil so we have the entrance of our oil or our managing oil the oil traveling from here and enter from the bottom so by entering from the outside peripheral from the filters the clean oil will go inside and all the particles will stay outside here stuck okay as we know through the time the filters for sure will be dirty and there is a need for uh, cleaning by manual cleaning and the best cleaning for them is uh, the ultrasonic uh, equipment because there is a lot of particles sometimes there and through the time okay maybe in six months or eight months depend also if the engine is old or new these filters will need 
uh, and also this depends from PMS a plan maintenance system how often we will check these filters so it's not only important to remove the filters and check if they are dirty we also need to make some important uh, examination of the filters so there is not any notch on the filters there is not any openings bigger that specified from the uh, manufacturer in case you see any damages or any holes bigger these filters must be discard directly and not reuse again another thing that i have observed through the uh, working experience uh, this is a common problem that i have faced also some of the wire goes around and can be uh, expelled from the filter itself so also that shows that filter have been damaged and it's not intact to make a effective cleaning of the oil and that means that some particles will pass to the system and in such systems that we have in main engine electronic control engines we have like uh, fever valves we have hydraulic units we have hydraulic pumps and we do not like uh, these dirty particles to travel through the system so it's really really important to keep as much as possible the filtration process and the quality of oil in high standards another thing that probably can be damaged on these filters is these caps here as I have worked many many years with ball and kitchen system there is a glue applied on these caps and these caps through the time and through the temperature they, they can go out so by these caps fall down or in no position not intact also the dirty particles can pass from there so one of the main things that uh, the manufacturer will see in case of trouble, uh, trouble uh, first of all, they will open the filters. And as my experience show, shown, the filters uh, have not given as much as attention uh, they need in filtering system. So after the passing, after the oil pass through the filters, and reach the outlet it's ready to start a journey through the engine let's make another view when the filter is going in backwash and black flashing condition so there is a turn of the system and isolate of appropriate filter which is supposed for cleaning and then there is a proper passage uh, aligned with the air bottle here which is pressurized and when our system and our motor on the top have turned to the specified filter for back flashing which the system found to be potential dirty and uh, dirty itself due to differential pressure of uh, the clean chamber and dirty chamber it's initiate the actuator the actuator which is down below here from one side it's connect to the air bottle which is pressurized here it's about seven or eight kilos and down below there is a drain valve and at the moment when this actuator will be active these two valves will be moved in the position in the open position so the air will pass from here and this you can listen there if you are located 
that the noise of this actuator and after that you will listen also the air by flashing all the oil and the dirt from here from the filters so as we can see we have a change of the flow there is a change of direction of the flow and such uh, there are some systems also in the central coolers which apply uh, some of this effect but not always is the proper way to do that in the central coolers there must be specified with some special valves which will be turned and uh, this cleaning should be initiated I have listened from some of our, our engineers about uh, when we discussed that some people and also it was ordered from chief engineers to blow uh, with air in the reverse direction of central coolers but after that only worst uh, thing will be done for the reason that that the central cooler are plate type central coolers okay it's not a tube it's not a filter it's different type and the only thing that you will do is to trap the dirty inside the central coolers and then then the flow will be disturbed that is 100% uh, sure the best thing if you like to clean and I have seen that uh, really in action there must be a specified set of the valves such system so you will change the flow for some uh, time about 45 minutes and with that change of the flow of the water flow not air nothing okay uh, but there is specified valves which also write for back, back, back flash only so with that you can make a cleaning effect and really really helps I have seen that but it's such systems that there is not valves you cannot make that the only trouble you will make you will make more dirty the filters the central cooler and after that when you will need to increase to going on the higher RPM your cooling effect from central coolers would not be enough uh, for cool down the scavenging the air cooler itself and the scavenging air will be really really hot so if scavenging air is hot also the exhaust gas is going up uh, okay here we have finished we have seen all that and there is another thing that we can tell that after that outlet after that outlet here we can install another filtering cartridge with differential pressure also which is an optional selection from this kind of filters and what is doing is to collect the oil which was uh, blown from here and black flashed back flashed here it's collect and also passing a filtering also by blow of the air and then going to sump again so let's say it's some kind of second kind of filtering what I have observed I have seen that kind of uh, system but not with differential pressure and not air but only with filter there was a filter here on the end so let's say it's a box which you which you can open with a cover on the top there is some butterfly secure here so the oil falling down here this is the filter with the, a mesh so the oil passing here from here there's a ah, if I remember properly no I will draw it a little bit different so the oil enter here and it goes inside the filter inside the filter and from the filter the oil flows and going down to the sump so what I have observed in the dry docks there is a cleaning of some tank where all the oil is collected and there is a usage of rocks inside 
So even after years, one or two years and three years, we still have found this small piece remaining from the clothing. Really, I don't know if uh, this will affect the bearings or the journal itself. But we have found such thing and it's really, really disturbing to clean the filter. If there is any filter that is uh, maintenance friendly and it's more easy to clean, it's really, really uh, nice to see. But also from the filters, you can see a lot of things and you can observe uh, about the condition of your engine. So the filters must be examined also for, for from some particles. If there is any metal pieces uh, remain or something else. So we have finished our review. We have said that uh, this kind of filters are approved from the following uh, marine standards like ABS, US Coast Guard. So this is the panel. There is a data which you can see from here. Adjustable open current release. CPU board with non-volatile EEPROM and program memory. IO board in the control box. Main switch with interlock system. So we can see also some details here. For our reference only, that we can use lubricant oil, diesel oil, heavy fuel oil, coolants, emulsions, industrial wash, liquids. Yes, this is very, very good. Operating temperature 150 degrees. And grade of filtration up to 10 micrometers. So we have finished our review. Thank you that you have stayed here with us to see this interesting share of uh, some tips about the filtration. And here, my dear friends, you can see this optional filtration uh, after the black back flashing drain has been obtained. It's going somewhere here and refilter again and send it to SAMP. Thank you and see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to press the bell button and your likes, dislikes and don't forget also to check the playlist. Thank you again and bye bye.